There was a time, you may remember it, when the world slowed down. Life became strange but simple. Home was everything, and without the competition of engines and machinery, birdsong rang out clear and true. But then, that year or two passed, to be talked of no more, and life sped up again. Now at ten times the speed that it was before. We cannot go back to the way we were, people said, and they were right, we didn't. Instead, the world seemed to become faster, more complicated, and a little scarier. I do not, however, believe that the lessons have been lost, just forgotten in the uncertainty of how to fit them into a new reality. So with that, I humbly present to you this guide, a reminder really, of how to live more simply. Hi, my name is Kat. I make slow and simple living videos based in Scotland. I'm making this video today because I feel like living simply is something that has massively benefited my own life. Everything I'm sharing today are all things that I use personally in my own life and that I found to be so helpful for helping me to be calmer and less anxious and just move through life with more ease, if I can put it that way. Modern life is very complicated and very busy feeling a lot of the time. So if you feel like that, if you feel like everything's very kind of stressy, your mind is always full, you always feel like you've got more tasks to do than you know what to do with, and it feels constantly overwhelming and like you can't get away from it, then you probably have too much stuff and you need to get rid of it. You don't need to get rid of all of it, but you do need to get rid of a lot of it. This is one of those things where you may not even realize just how much having too much stuff is affecting your sense of freedom in life until you get rid of it. I know that I certainly did not, being someone who was always, and probably still is a bit, a little bit of a squirrel who likes to collect things and feels a sense of comfort from things. Unfortunately, one of the hallmarks of modern living is this kind of over-consumerism and this kind of self-soothing by shopping and by getting stuff as opposed to getting to the heart of what our issues are. You know, we, we all have our hang-ups and we all have our things we need to deal with. But we're also always getting advertising that is telling us that if we buy this thing or that thing, then our problems will be solved. But Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that, as many of us find. In fact, buying this stuff can often exacerbate the problems and make things worse in our lives because we are unable to handle and look after all the things that we have. It makes cleaning harder, it makes it harder for us to move through our space, which can result in increasing irritation throughout the day. There is so much decluttering advice out there, so I'm going to keep it very simple. First of all, get a trash bag, go around your house and fill it, then get a recycling bag, go through your house and fill it, get a donate bag, go through your house and fill it. Just repeat that for a few weeks or a few months and I guarantee you, your life will feel a lot simpler. Our houses are containers that have a limit to them. The solution isn't getting a bigger house usually. The solution is normally getting rid of the stuff so that we can enjoy the space and be content in the space that we already have. The second way to live more simply is to embrace systems that make practical sense for your life personally. Now what I mean by this is thinking of areas of your life that feel complicated uh, and perhaps cause you irritation, ideally areas that are within your control to take practical steps to change it and then do that. It's amazing how often we can fall into doing things in a certain way or structuring our homes in a certain way and we just sort of get used to feeling irritated whenever it's a struggle to get something. So for example, in my study, I have this kind of weird setup which doesn't look completely horrible so I haven't really done much with it so far. It's vaguely organised in the sense that there's drawers and boxes that have specific things that have homes for them but every time I try to get something out of here I feel irritated. 
I've got all these boxes stacked on top of each other. I've got these wires at the bottom and then a box of sentimental things, yoga blocks and some card supplies. And then a random pile that has started to grow on top of here, which is always a sign that there is an issue that needs solved. Whenever I want to get the wires out, I have to take everything off and then pull them all out and because I usually want a wire for something that I'm in the middle of, maybe I quickly need to get a charger because my phone's running out of charge, I usually just end up leaving it all in a big mess and then that mess attracts more clutter and creates more friction, that creates more irritation and makes my life feel even more complicated. The other thing is that this storage situation, while it does work in the sense that I do find it quite helpful to use pull-out drawers that I can tuck away. It's not actually fit for purpose because this is a bedside table, an old bedside table that we had at our last flat, which I was temporarily keeping to use as office storage in the meantime, but it's actually quite a chunky piece of furniture. It takes up quite a lot of space for what is actually quite limited storage. And so I'm going to fix this today and try to create a situation that reduces the friction in my life. I've used a practical home environment just because I personally found that changing our home environment is one of the easiest things you can change that's so within reach and so practically attainable that will have the biggest impact on the rest of our lives. What I really want to reiterate is that you need to find things that work for you personally because there's a lot of common wisdom out there that might not actually make sense for your lifestyle. I guess for an example, it would make logical sense to keep papers in the study. However, if you personally always do your bills and go through your files and your papers at the kitchen table, which results in piles of papers being left all over the kitchen table, and then piles attracting more piles and it resulting in more clutter that then makes you feel stressed and you really struggle to consistently put these papers away in the study because that's not naturally where you're actually processing them then maybe your papers need to go beside the potatoes or maybe you need a magnetic filing system on the side of your fridge i have spent so long trying to have the self-discipline to be a tidier person but what I found is actually that I just needed to find easier places to put my stuff to put a system in place where I'm naturally putting stuff down so that it's almost easier to put it away than it is to leave it out. Just a side note that particular piece of advice is not my own it's from an amazing podcast called Clutterbug which I've been listening to loads and I'll leave a link to it down below. The other thing is to introduce habits and routines into your life so that some of the things that you find harder to have motivation to do just become very, well, routine, where it's easier to do it than not to do it because you're so used to doing, because it's just what you do. You know, when I was a kid, I remember I would come home from school and it was always just the routine that I would have a snack and then I would sit down and do my homework and only after that could I go and play. And that was just the way that it was done in my house. And so it would feel weird if I came home and I didn't do my homework pretty soon after I came home. So I never actually had to have motivation to do it because my parents just told me to do it. We need to parent ourselves in the same way because life is so much simpler when you can move easily through your physical space and through all the chores and the things that you might not normally enjoy doing and just get them done so that you can move on to the th other things that you do like to do. I think the biggest surprise for me in this is that the more I got habits and routines and systems in place for all the things I didn't like to do, I bizarrely have actually started to enjoy doing them. So after removing all the excess and the complexity and creating systems, the third way, because we're doing the rule of three today, is to rewild yourself. 
Now, rewilding is this buzzword that started going around recently. All I mean by it is to connect more with nature. After all, simple living is not meant to be empty living. It's meant to be about letting go of the unimportant and unnecessary things in order to make space for the true riches in life. This is quite a good one if you hate all the practical stuff I've said in the first part of this video because it is the least practical and the most immersive way to slow down and simplify your life. This could mean walking barefoot on the dewy grass, bird watching, wild swimming or going for long walks in the forest or in the mountains. When you slow down to really watch and study the way that nature moves, it really makes you realise just how intense and fast-paced modern living has become. The back-breaking hustle culture that's balanced off with the rest of fast-paced, screen-based entertainment is not good for us. Now, I don't think I'm only speaking for myself when I say that this kind of lifestyle, because I have lived it and I still fall into living it, far too often, it causes our souls to run on empty. But when we step outside, breathe deeply the fresh air and realise that we can move with the seasons rather than being manipulated by machines, life becomes simple. And not only that, it becomes worth living. Thank you so much for joining me for this slow and simple living video. If you enjoyed it, then you can show your support by liking the video, sharing it with someone who you think would appreciate it and subscribing for future content. I would also love to know if you've got any ideas that I haven't mentioned on how to simplify life. If so, then do be sure to leave it down in the comments so that we can all benefit from it. But until next time, it was lovely to have you here. Ugh, I've got hair in my mouth.